we want to treat our lives as something sacred and something more than just to get by and implementing little things in your daily practice is something small you can do hello beautiful people and welcome back to zen station Today's episode, I go back to reflect on my last episode to getting started before you're ready on social media and just life. And during the process of feeling extreme stagnancy in my body, my mind, and my creative spirit, I realized a couple of things that I thought I'd share here to help you move through feeling stagnant and to go back into living in your purpose. Let's go to it. You are where you are meant to be. If it's meant for you, it will come, but also on the other side of like, only you can make it happen. And I know that myself, this is a feeling like I've been wanting to accomplish for a while. So it would be a disservice for me to um, not do it at all. I'm a complete noob at doing this and I'm not going to let that stop me from posting and recording and sharing and honoring my light and my voice and what I have to share and say. So here I am. Um, The other day I got inspired by, you know, someone started their podcast. They didn't know what to do. They just kind of went at it and I thought that was very fearless. Um, It was really brave and that is more of what I love to embody and practice as much as I say it. So um, little steps here and there, I take them, big steps for me, Um, however it may look, as long as you you take the approach and you, you go in that route in whichever form or time it happens, then thumbs up to you, thumbs up to me, (laughs) you should be proud of yourselves, and it's incredibly hard, it's incredibly hard, so Yeah, I was listening to that first podcast about getting started on your social media. And aside from just social media, it was essentially about getting started um, and not allowing fear, not allowing anyone else's uh, thoughts or um, words to stop you from actually getting started on the project you want to get started on. And a lot of the things I said were very much true and very much correct but now that i'm in a place you can call it creative's block um it was very much stagnant energy i very much felt like i was in a hole and this process started off really slow and i was blind with the the subtle cues that my body my mind was telling me that hey, you need to release this, you need to address it, or it's going to accumulate and build up into something that you don't like. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, And, you know, like, there's definitely a lot of things I could have done better and improved and recognized at the time, but it's what I went through. And I believe that we go through these things for a purpose. Um, (laughs) And whichever type of pain there is like there's always going to be pain coming at us so we kind of pick and choose what (laughs) we go through and that's the lesson i had to learn where um i felt like i dug myself in a hole like a pattern was coming up and i didn't recognize that pattern it's very subtle like i would get irritated i would get um you know not inspired or i didn't feel inspired discouraged very pessimistic and negative and that was directly influencing and affecting the people around me that I have at the time and it's funny because it was like a loop where uh, it backfired where I took a step back to reflect and to work on this feeling at a certain point but it kind of was almost too late to address it where um it kind of piled up so much that i didn't know what the fuck to do with it i didn't know what it was and it just kept accumulating because the way i was going at it wasn't um that healthy and and it wasn't working so what i did was i i saw something come up um but i was in a space of 
emotional battles and anger and agitation and resentment and sadness and all of that stuff is just very much um in one bubble that's gonna burst so it's very much hard to be analytical and um you know reflect properly while in that state of uh emotion (laughs) and it's really it's don't get me wrong feel all your emotions out the good the bad feel it all out that is a process um for processing it you know to process your emotions is to feel it all of it and that's what i was doing but it was incredibly hard for me to be analytical and you know um think more (laughs) non-emotionally in that state so it backfired and hurt more people in the end and that's where i'm like okay (laughs) what am i what am i doing um let's separate myself completely from you know everything but also let's bounce back up quicker leading with um love integrity honesty open communication and you know not just with other people but especially with myself and that is the very thing i had to do first which was have an open conversation um with me (laughs) and my ego and you know um come back into a higher space of um consciousness of my higher self and not lead in an egotistic way where i was very much at and very much was at a uh almost like victim mentality battling back and forth at each other it was incredibly annoying and it's not fun but you know i i decided to choose a path of healing and no matter what you're always going to be going through problems you're always going to have pain and Uh, It's not always going to be happy and joyful and good. So no matter what, this is a process for everyone. And I decided uh, a while ago um, to live in my purpose, live with love um, so so I could just live a better and happier life and understand myself so um, my trauma, my past doesn't affect how i navigate the world now you know like a lot of us live in our child our trauma um our past whatever we went through we keep that we grow up big so we're just essentially big kids (laughs) stuck in our past whether we know it or not so my focus more so is to be conscious of that um knowing that and understanding that so i can navigate in a healthier way you know what i mean (laughs) so i mean it's definitely everyone is capable of doing this it's just um it's your decision it's the effort that you put in that will make it count so um, if you're listening to this then you're likely on the same kind of journey that i am and i applaud you for that so kudos to you i see you i hear you let's talk let's have a conversation and um i love to hear you know your your kind of um experience on this as well and yeah so (laughs) yeah for a bit i went through this and like it's definitely not just me i pulled i pulled some people in with me and that's incredibly toxic that i noticed and that i would want to let go of and practice to to heal um and you know as much as i believe i don't know i i think that we're always gonna be the doctor like the healer and also the person that's getting healed that is just the process and while you're on your own healing journey and development you're gonna have relationships like be open to bringing people in um as much as you're growing they are as well no one's perfect um but it's also important to recognize when the relationship is toxic and especially when 
it's not the other person that's toxic it's you when it's you or even both of you that's (laughs) it's incredibly important to recognize when you yourself are bringing toxic traits into the relationship especially when it's a relationship of healing together and growth together so addressing that early on with yourself with your um, relationships is number one okay numero uno (laughs) and these are just some realizations um i mean it's not even realizations it's like i went through it too so uh these are some things that i've uh experienced and i mean also realized during this journey uh recently and i wanted to share that with you uh with whoever might feel the same way or have went through the same thing i just want to let you know that you're doing great you're on the right path you know you know yourself best so like just surround yourself with people that love you that you love that really support you and find and create a community that you can lean on as well because another important thing is as much as we should you know practice self-care self-love you should also be practicing community love and care and know when to ask and lean in for support because as much as I'm personally someone who works best alone, I need a lot of time alone to recharge and um, get ideas creatively and um, just in general. I also get like that with um, a community, with friends, with family. Um, and without that, that, I feel incredibly lonely as as much as i love my own company and i'm comfortable with myself sometimes when you're in such a low space low frequency and uh you're going through shit it's amazing to have a community to lean on um when you need it so it's okay um you know everyone's kind of going through something of their own and it's good to ask how people are doing open um have an open conversation of like how like and make it normal to have a open conversation of uh, your darkest parts like of depression anxiety of feeling alone and also the good things of what you're excited about passionate about like the things that um you dream of like i'm very much a visionary as well and i like to think I'm very much in the cl- in the clouds. Uh, I like to think of what could be um, because I know I can create that, or at least I tell my I tell my yes, yes. I know I can achieve anything. <laughs> so remind myself that is very important, and doing that and practicing it now uh, really will. Um, alter your future like what you do now is the most important thing ever so like it's funny i have this conversation with um kedre i'm sure i'm gonna like bring him up a lot more and you're gonna know who he is so yeah we have a lot of amazing conversations and he'll be on the podcast he's gonna start a podcast so stay tuned but yeah we all we have this conversation on you know like he's very much in like very present like the type of person that's very don't worry like there are things that you can control there are other things you can't control and these are things that i like to say and i think i practice it but not as much as him (laughs) he is like he embodies that like i'll be stressed out on you know being late he's always late he's chill and because he knows that hey like it is it it happened i recognize it i can't change it so i'm not going to stress about it um and it really mellows me down and chills me and everyone around him is like it, it gets it's the same vibe so like there's a lot of things i learned from him um as much as he says so there's a lot of things he learns from me it's it goes both ways so it's an incredible relationship that i want to honor and cherish 
forever so like i really want to get him on this podcast and it's gonna happen i'm putting it out in the universe i already did we already did so many times so (laughs) this is um the first step for me to be going on that path you know like me recording i'm talking about it um is a first step like the idea so I'm not beating myself up for it, not posting it on time or um, like on a timeline that I envisioned or whoever might envision for me. It's another thing that a lot of us really are too much mm, like focused on is the idea that we have to be on this timeline by the age of this, I have to do that. By the age of this, I gotta do that. I should be here, not here. I'm not doing enough. You know, all of these things are in our heads. And I I understand there's this, or at least we, we think it's a deception of thinking that we should be there or, you know, there's a pressure. Literally, truly, the only person giving you pressure is yourself because you let it like think about that as much as you want to say you know my parents um my friends like i feel i feel like i should and those are all valid but if you know yourself and i'm totally guilty of this that's why i also brought up kedrit like he's amazing he is like the zen rock like my zen rock that like i just put my hand on i'm like ha ah. So as much as my name is Zen, (laughs) he is the Zen rock. (laughs) But like, yeah, it's it's really us that's weighing ourselves down and keep ourselves down, you know? Um, And when you're in that space, that's why I brought up community uh, care. It's incredibly important because people will see a better version of you than yourself and we are, you know, all artists know, all people, everyone knows that we are our worst critics and we are incredibly hard on ourselves, like, like we are not our own friends, you know, like how you treat your friends, hopefully you treat them well, you should treat yourself like that, it's like, hey, hey self, how you doing today, like, uh, oh, you've been working too hard, just take, it's okay to take a breather, oh, you're on the right path, you're good, like, positive affirmations, all the way and you know they're very very important to put out say it out loud our our bodies are incredibly um intelligent and it's crazy how much what you put out there um come true like physically you can look at you can look it up there's a there's a lot of um documentaries videos on this on um how you speak to yourself and also what you think and um our bodies are capable of healing ourselves in in incredible ways um and we just have to kind of get it going we have to get the the uh, gears grinding and keep on oiling it when it needs to so that would be the practice of self-care community care showing love to yourself, making sure you're working well, not just enough to function, <laughs> you know, like not just enough to work at nine to five job, die at the end, just so you could put food on the table. And like, that's a whole nother topic. And people have their own reasons and circumstances and lives. I understand, um, or I don't understand because I don't live your life, but I can understand in my own perspective and um, how I navigate and see the world that we want to treat our lives as something sacred and something more than just to get by. And implementing little things in your daily practice is something small you can do. So, you know, taking a few minutes to breathe, Like allowing your body to mindfully breathe in oxygen that's good for your body 
drinking water, exercising, moving it. Um, so you get rid of that stagnant energy that builds up and that could accumulate to like something way bigger and also depression. <laughs> so recognizing uh, these things, these cues our body tells us like aches and pains, uh, feeling so tired all the time and not motivated. You want to look at it, you want to take care of it and trust your body, trust your intuition and treat it like you would a mm, a sickness like um if you get a cold. Treat it like that and everything and anything because we are our own healers. We're capable enough to help ourselves get better get moving, get, um, and to just live a life that we really want to live and we're excited for. So, like, there's so much opportunity to, um, really live the life you want and to embrace the life you're living right now, to be grateful and honor that. So, yeah, I just, I just wanted to hop on here and just, talk about that a little bit because it's incredibly important and it's something that I went through recently so these are fresh ideas fresh experiences and knowledge that kind of came through it would be a shame and you know a disservice if you don't share what you're meant to share like I recorded all these podcast videos that I don't put out because I'm incredibly self-analytical and perfection like a perfectionist a lot of times i don't realize that i'm not sharing the things that are important to whoever might be listening whoever wants to listen and um now is uh you know i'm practicing it and i'm putting it out (laughs) so if you listen all the way here at the end thank you so much i truly truly appreciate you um definitely this podcast is gonna continue it's gonna grow however way it's gonna go and also for you you listening man like whatever journey you're on or you're going in or you want to go in really learn how to embrace embrace all of it and take it all in as is Um, be excited to learn, be excited to grow, be excited for the pain you're gonna go through, um, the people you're gonna meet, and, and forget about anything else that could happen, like, I know it's like a, um, we're kind of redundant for me to say one thing and then the other, but, like, it really, it humbles you to think about it like this, where it's like, yeah, you could potentially get so many followers, you could potentially get famous or get a lot of money. That's amazing. You know, we have bills to pay. Um, we ha- we want to have some sort of influence and impact on the world. That's amazing. But whatever journey you're on, try to just embrace that journey and take in everything as much as you can without those expectations because even if you don't get that, even if you go broke or you, you're the way you still are now, um, financially or whatever, you would have grown. You would have dived into something that um, you never would have without jumping in, you know? So that's all I got to say. I'm going to end it here. Thank you again. Um, I love you guys. Let me know what you think. And... Um, Bye.